Hello student, this is the eighth part of permutations and combinations. <coughs> Today also I am going to explain some problems based on linear permutations. So today's first problem, in a class there are certain number of students, one of the new year day, sorry on the new year day, every student post a greeting card to all of his classmates. If the total number of greeting cards posted by them is 870, then find the number of students in the class. So one of the interesting questions students, for example, there are three students in a class A, B, C. Okay, A can post a greeting letter to B and A can post a greeting letter to C. From A, we will have two greeting cards. B can post a letter to A, B can post a letter to C, from B you have two greeting cards. C can post to A and C can post to B, so from C we will get two greeting cards, totally six greeting cards, means if there are three students, we will get six greeting cards, understood? So what happened Anna? A have two chances. A can post to, uh, to greeting cards, B can post to, C can post to, okay, so what happened, 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is total greeting cards is equal to 6, so but how to generalize this, listen students, we have, yeah, student 1, student 2, student 3, so on, I assume that there are n students in the class, how many uh, greeting cards S1 can post, I can say n minus 1 greeting cards, Total n students are there, no? S1 can't post a letter to itself, no? So that's why S, S1 can post n minus 1 greeting cards. S2 can post another n minus 1 greeting cards. S3 also can post n minus 1 greeting cards. I hope you people are following. S2 can post n minus 1 greeting cards. So S3 can post n minus 1 greeting card. S3 can post a greeting card to S1. S3 can post a greeting card to S2, S3 can post a greeting card to S4, S3 can post a greeting card to SN. That's why S3 can post N minus 1 greeting card, so on, so on, so on. SN also can post N minus 1 greeting cards. Total number of greeting cards, N minus 1 plus N minus 1 plus N minus 1, so on plus N minus 1. How many, how many times you should add Nana? N times. That's why total summation is N into N minus 1. So N into N minus 1 is equal to total number of greeting cards. That is equal to 870. So, n into n minus 1 equal to 870. Now, I want to factorize that. I don't want to use uh, you know, quadratic. So, 87 into 10. So, what I can write? 3 into 3 twos are 6. 29 into 10. So, what I can say? 30 into 29. This is nothing but 30 into 29. Obviously, n equal to 30. Means there are 30 students in the class. Okay. Okay, students. Yeah. Now I want to write steps for this. Let total number of students in the class be n. Okay. S1 can post n minus 1 cards, S2 can post another n minus 1 cards, so on, so on, so on, Sn also can post n minus 1 cards, therefore total number of cards equal to n minus 1 plus n minus 1 plus n minus 1 so on plus n minus 1. What I can say Nana, this is n into n minus 1. So n into n minus 1 according to the problem 870. Another words I can say that is np2 Nana. In our language, permutation language, I can say np2 equal to 870. Both are give same meaning, np2. So what happened, uh, uh, you can use quadratic uh, concept also, but I don't like here in this case because uh, if a into b is equal to 3, then directly I can say that a equal to 1 and b equal to 3 or uh, a equal to 3 and b equal to 1 because these two are natural numbers, they are also countable numbers, so n into n minus 1. 
directly I can say 30 into 29 therefore n equal to 30 total number of students in a class equal to 30 okay I hope you people understood so next question our uh, second question for the class find the number of four letter words four letter words that can be formed by using the letters of the word when gopal which some conditions okay students uh, so yeah first of all how many letters are there in the word that should be identified here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 by using all these nine letters okay you can make nine factorial different nine letter words okay some give meaning some of them are without meaning how many words you can construct means i can say nine factorial words one of the word is this nana one of the word is this g o p l a just i interchange this like that so you get nine factorial nine uh, letter words but that, that that is not a question here he want only four letter words four letter words okay so i want write steps for this given word yeah number of four letter words just this is same as filling these nine letters into four blanks which are arranged in a row you see a meaning no? just how many one two three four five six seven and nine four blocks is, that is 9 p 4 so what i can say there are 9 p 4 four letter words okay well, what is the question now what is the question now what is a a what is the a nana here containing the letter v v compulsory v compulsory but not given that v is uh, starting or ending not given but v must and should it should containing v okay that i will write in next page number of four letter words that contains the letter V. So I will explain students take a box yeah this have three four blank places which are in a row First of all, I want to find number of words started with V. After that, number of words started uh, where, where V is in second place. Number of words where V is in uh, third place. Number of words where V is in fourth place, like that. Okay. Number of words such that V is, v is in first place. E is in first place, I can say. Here we fixed nana. Now with us eight letters, eight letters, three blanks, eight p three ways I can fill eight p three. Yeah, do symbol I want to use number of words such that v is in second place, second place. That also, that also. Here v, so remaining uh, three blanks can fill with eight in eight p three ways. That also eight p three. Okay, next one also v is in third place. that also another 8p3 so last one Anna, v is in fourth place fourth place of that word that also another 8p3 so finally 1 2 3 4 so what i can say four times of 8p3 final answer is four times of 8p3 i will write equal to four times of 8p3 okay this is the uh, answer for problem a Anna. next b what is b do not contain g do not contain g contain the letter g easy one only because just remove the g nana we have nine letters 
from 9 removed g removed remaining 8 this 8 should be filled into 4 blanks how many means 8 p 4 ways 8 p 4 ways therefore 8 p 4 4 letter words you can construct so that th those all letters doesn't containing the letter g ok c containing v but not e yes containing v but not e what is that contain v but not what but not e ok so di directly i want to write answer for this students listen Anna. directly i want to write i don't want to write steps first of all we have friends now we have nine letters from these nine letters we need to remove e now we have eight letters from eight letters we want to fill these into four blanks but uh, v compulsory same v is in first place so now eight minus uh, v seven letters three blank seven p three ways i can fill v may be here another seven p three v may be here another seven p three so directly what i can say four times of seven p three four times of seven p three contain v but not uh, e equal to four times of seven p three i hope you people understood nana so next d what is d containing at least one of v and d containing at least one of uh, v and d what is the meaning of that that word containing with v and with e and containing v and e so i will uh, write the solution here solution uh, students so contain at least one of at least at least one of v and e so the number of words that containing v so i got already answer containing v yeah the for containing v four times of eight uh, four times of eight p what is that eight p three that is containing v nana containing e uh, e also another uh, four times of eight p three plus another uh, number of words should find so that that containing both v and e both v and e v both compulsory these two compulsory Okay, so first of all, we have V E two letters, four blanks. Okay, four P two ways you can fill them. After filling that, we have one, two two more blanks for uh, seven letters. Seven P two ways you can fill. So total, what I can say, plus four P two into seven P two. Four P two into seven P two. Again, I want to explore last one, Nana. So first, okay, no containing V containing e and now containing v and uh, v and e four boxes four bo um, places are there v e n u g o p a l actually that contain v and e. v uh, v and e compulsory nana so first of all i want to fill v and e in these four blanks how many ways i can fill four p two ways you can fill in each permutation in among these four p two permutation i have three two blank places those two blank places can be filled with these letters how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so how many ways you can fill means 7p2 ways you can fill what i can say 4p2 into 7p2 permutation exists so that that containing both v and e understood so containing only v containing only e containing both uh, uh, v and e that is 4p2 into 7p2 so this is the answer for the problem Anna. okay i want to write For answer for uh, D here uh, containing contain at least containing at least one of V comma I at least that is important Anna. So directly I want to write 4 times of 8p3 plus 4 times of 8p3 plus 4p2 into 7p2. Okay, this is the answer for the problem. I hope you people understood.